here we are. All right. We're going to do this. We're, we're going to pull this off. We're going to try to play as much as we can. I'm going to try to focus on this screen instead of my TV screen because I don't have a long enough USB cable to put my camera on my TV. But we're going to play through... Uh, the, the goal is to play through Trails of Cold Steel. All four games. I've already beaten... I just finally uh, finished beating uh, the, the fourth game. Trails of Cold Steel 4. Okay, the final game in the Cold Steel se series. Unless you count into, Rever into Reverie, then that's a whole different story. But, um, now the reason why I want to beat Cold Steel 4 before I go through this journey is because I'm going through a whole new thing. I'm going to try to play the New Game Plus of all four games. And we're going to try to stream it. <laughs> okay, um... I do, I will say this, uh, in order to, like, give you guys an idea of what's going on, I do have a guide, uh, uh, on the, I am looking at Neo Seeker. I'm going to look at the guide whenever I get bogged down, because I'm trying to get everything, I'm going to go for, like, a whole platinum run, so I'm actually going to play on New Game, uh, New Game Plus on the Nightmare Mode, uh, and, uh, like I said, I haven't played through Cold Steel 1, 2, or 3 since 20, I want to say 2021 or 2022, okay? Uh, I want to say 2021 because that was the last time I remember really going through all of the games like crazy. Um, <laughs> like I just bought every, all four games like right up, one after the other as soon as I got into it. Um. Uh, but, yeah, so, we're going to try to pull this off. <laughs> we're going to try to pull this off. Uh, I'm going to try not to look at the uh, guide as much as possible, but when I know there's, like, if <laughs> I'm missing a treasure chest or something like that, um, you know, so I can get that platinum. And that's the reason why I'm doing the nightmare run. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to look at the guide. So I do have the guide set set for me just in case shit goes off. Uh shit goes wrong. So here we go. Uh let me go ahead and get started. Uh just go to like regular editor, take out studio mode. That way I can give myself a, a really good idea of what I'm looking at. And here we go. Okay. Feel free to chat if you feel like chatting, if you feel like getting on. I know it's like 10.43 at night, and I didn't even set myself up for this. Alright, let me make sure. I love these theme songs, man. It's so weird going back to <laughs> to the first one after I just finished the fourth one. The fourth one is still like fresh in my mind.
All right. Now I'm playing on PlayStation Five. I was playing this on uh, my PS Four. Like I said, oh wow, it was 2020. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is how long it's been since I played it. Four years, oh, almost four years ago. November would be four years ago. Good lord. When did I start? Like, this tells you. Like, I started at the end of September. Playing this game. And I, I was, like, on it. I was on one, just playing through the game until... 2020 like around the time like I believe around the time I got to like chapter 5 I had already decided to purchase uh, Cold Steel 2 so <laughs> that tells you something <laughs> I was like on one alright as long as it does this alright so I only cleared it once so I only got like 5 point new game plus points so what we're going to do is uh Hold on, let me check the let me check the guide for just a second. Uh, there's obviously certain things I'm gonna want to like have for this uh, new game plus that I'm playing on Nightmare. All right, so we're gonna get status for sure. Uh, I don't know how much mirror or a sept septic. I have, but I'm guessing keeping that items, of course, and I guess notebook item. Yeah, that should be it. Because I don't need, like, I don't think I'm gonna need that three hundred thousand mirror, three thousand of each set, sepis. I don't think I'm gonna need that or uh, max bonding points. I'm just gonna do what I can when I can and all that stuff. Stage outfits, other outfits. I'll get those later. In another playthrough. Oh, that's free. So I'll just carry over all these instead of using the bonuses. Uh, let's see. We're gonna play it on Heart Nightmare. It's gonna be a little bit tougher, but yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna have to do what we do. All right. Eastern edge of the Erebonian Empire. Now, I do plan to play like this. This is my first Trails uh, game. These are the first Trails games I ever played. Also, uh, I'm pretty sure I don't remember if this is how I do it, but uh, I'm gonna do the speed up bit because. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, the game goes real slow. What's happening? Who's in control? Get in touch with the Fourth Armored Division. We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig. And I like how it starts in media res. Oh yeah. There we go, several nights. Just to make things a little bit faster. This is awful. What happened here? How terrible. The old class seven uniforms. Oh. I can smell smoke. This is like Are they using this powder? is nostalgic for me, okay? This is like four years ago nostalgic. They've completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy. Even making the tanks go hey Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all Hold along. Hold on. Let me do some changes. Uh. I don't know. Like, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, fuck it. Okay. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't. 
I think that's like the only issue with streaming sometimes. Especially putting your face on it. Maybe I should take my face off of it. Who knows? So, uh, they're intent on taking the chance. Well, it's not like I'm playing like a. Yeah, maybe I should take off the. Eh, nah. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. Right. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Reem's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but yeah. considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. About to let those terrorists have their like way. I said, playing through Co uh, Cold Steel 4 recently, and just watching everybody as they're younger, you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. Is so crazy. Oh crap, bastard! See, this is why I'm recording because of the fact that I keep. Uh, I'm gonna have disconnection issues with my stream. All right, Green, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Come on, we can it. Come on, reconnect, buddy. Wait, what well, I'm on? Don't. There we go. We're back on. See, I, I, I keep having like issues with. This is the reason why I haven't streamed that much because I don't have like a, a lane line. Uh, internet access. The the gun at the right wing. The other group, this is an actual and my Wi-Fi sucks out here. Real lives at stake. Here's the reason why I'm not go streaming as much because I keep having these disconnections. Yes, sir. All right, class seven. Maybe I'm, when I move upstairs, I might not have that issue anymore. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Right. All right, let's see what we got. So. Leaving the game, <laughs> first time I played it, through it. Alright. Let's see. Uh, no, not going back to the game. Alright. That I can't really Here double check. <laughs> or it meant to take it off turbo mode for now. They look just like that thing. Mechanical monstrosities. Not yet. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. All right. Bring it on. Leave it to me. See. Crap. It's a lot faster with like three and four. So let's see. No, we're not gonna do that. So let's uh yeah. I might okay. need to put on turbo mode. Uh see I'm so used to doing things. <laughs> Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Like that. Level 50? Okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh. Not liking that. Uh let's see, art.
that works. That's a lot better. Alright. Let's get All right, that's much better. Now I can see. Uh should be. No. No. My turn. Yeah, they do hit hard in this version of it. Okay. Two rings. Thanks. Six point. Here we go. And oh. uh, no point in doing that. It's my turn. There we go. And art. Oh, that's how you switch. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's been a minute since I played this, so oh, I don't have radiant. Okay. Evil will fall before oh. my blade. Man, they are so much stronger than this. No doubt about it. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside the Graham. It seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers with it seems so. so these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. And a real pain to deal with. We need to hurry, but Understood. I won't be able to go everywhere, but oh, good! And I can't use items outside or ordnance, but I can use this. And I don't think it's like a. <laughs> Thank God it's not like a. Uh, what's that game called? <laughs> I can't even remember the game now. Uh. Thank God it's not like Black Myth Wukong or like um, Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor and uh. Not big enough. Spark arrow. Can I get both of them in there? Yep. Arcus. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Leave it to me. Okay. Burn in daylight. There we go. 
We're getting there. We're getting there. Go anywhere that way. Go on there. I wonder if I'm almost at the uh, end of the prologue. Where are we? So I do plan to play, okay, so like I was saying earlier, Trails of Cold Steel 1, well the Trails of Cold Steel series, it's the first series I, uh, of the Trails games I've ever played. Uh, or the Kiseki series. So I do, I do intend to get like you trails of uh, trails into the sky, in the sky, trails in the sky, um, that uh, trilogy, and I also plan to get the uh, Crossbell duology, uh, trails, uh, trails from zero, and trails into uh, trails. From Azure? Hold on, let me, let me, let me double check. So Trails in the Sky, one, two, uh, one, two, and three, or Trails in the Sky, FC, SC, and the third. Uh, trails from Zero, Trails to Azure, and then I also want to get Trails into Reverie, and Trails in the Daybreak. Uh, so I'm gonna play through the trilogy. The next ones I'm gonna play are the, the trilogy. Games. Of uh, in the sky, and then <coughs> trails from zero to azure, the cross the wall too. Then I'll get back into that. But until then, we're just gonna play some cold steel until I save up enough no money deal. to get all. Huh, don't tell me they're just gonna let yeah, I'm actually gonna save money for once. <laughs> that's the, that's the been the biggest issue for me in the past, like. For one, I'm why I'm not streaming, and guns. two, for why, you know, I don't do as many videos because I'm uh, always DoorDash right to make up for certain things. And now that I've finally gotten my finances in somewhat of a good order, I'm just going to save money from now on. That's the goal, at least. So. My turn. Uh. I'm gonna try to build up some Analyzing the enemy's CP got it. right now. Of course. Oh, they are. Ooh, I am. Ooh. All right. So. Now, okay, if you've never played these games, <coughs> uh, yeah, if you've never played any of these games, one thing that you need to know is that, uh, ooh, nope, uh, I'll use a attack. Make sure I got all this music against. I don't think I have anybody who's stronger than that. But I do have craft. There. Stop that. there we go. Me. My turn. Uh let's see. Your turn. Let's play. Let's see if he has it. Right. Yep, he has grand press. Thank God. Uh she has Hydro Cannon. Yeah, but if you've never played it, the Trails of Cold Steel game, I can only go by Trails of Cold Steel, not by uh, uh, any of the other like Trails games. But I'm gonna focus on this one. But one thing I like to do is just build up CP. My turn. Use crafts a lot more than art. It's my turn. Arts are gonna cost a lot of uh, EP. 
and sometimes <laughs> basically Leave it to me. and they also take a minute to like kind of go but building up CP you know okay. is good because you can also use like uh, each character's like special like attacks and if you build it up to like 200 uh it's that, that special attack is a lot stronger Ooh, i gotta save her she's gonna be my main healer uh just kill that He's dead. Won't give up. I'm screwed. Leave it to me. Yeah. Well. Alright. Know your place. Yeah. Oh cool. Thank God I did that. Oh, 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 oh god. Yes. Oh. Leave it to me. Oh. Well, that's about the bullshit. Alright. There we go. Go. Very well. It's my turn. Oh, this is so much harder. Okay. Get down a little bit of attack. Give this arc class. I'll handle this. And craft. Know your place. Leave it to me. All right. Tougher, I won't lie. Nightmare is a little bit tougher, and this is only the prologue, so like I don't really think like like uh, well, any of my new game plus sure things are technically counted in this. So there's that. Oh, I got it. Oh, underwear is budget. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Railway guns. No, no, no. No. Don't. Stop! It's been a minute since I've seen this. A tale of the Erebonian Empire. Erebonian Empire. The Legend of Heroes. <laughs> Girls of Cold Steel. Now, I will say this. Um, 
I will say this. So, Trails of Cold Steel is part of a larger series called the Legend of Heroes series. But the Trails games, like Trails into the, in the Sky, Trails from Zero, Trails of Cold Steel, Trails into Reverie, Trails into Break, uh, Daybreak, they're all like a sub series of the Legend of Heroes series. And, well, they're all connect. The the Trails games are all connected. It may not be connected to the original like Legend of Heroes games, but it's definitely connected to each other. Uh, basically, like in Cold Steel Four, for instance, you get everybody. <laughs> like there's a, you get to play as everybody from like uh, previous games, like the Crossbell uh, group from. Oh, uh, from Trails of, from Zero, Trails, uh, Trails to Azure. And also, uh, <coughs> uh, the characters from Trails, the main characters from Trails in the Sky. <laughs> Get to play as them. It, um, they have their own, like, they're like guest characters, basically. But it's still kind of cool to actually see all three of them kind of, all three groups kind of come together. Anyways, let me uh, turn this back up and let's keep let's keep going. Five months earlier, the outskirts capital. Four hundred sales. Now that's one thing about Trails of Cold Steel, <laughs> especially the first game. You're always on trains. Uh, that's how you get to all the different, like, areas in the game. And this game was initially created for the PSP, if I remember correctly. So, just realized that's the main reason why it has this kind of, like, graphic style. This train is bound for Berehard via Keldic. The next stop is Trista. We will be stopped at Trista for one minute. When disembarking, please ensure no belongings are left behind. Almost there. Man, spring's really in full bloom here, huh? Back home, there was still so much snow on the ground, I hardly even realized it. I might cut my stream short, I don't know. The pins. I might have to go to the uh, the gas of the station for something to drink. I also got like some full water, so I get I'm good for a minute. I might go. To, oh wow, Maki's Alyssa. I'm uh, pretty sure I saw Elliot in the background too. I know the I know some of the characters' names, okay? Are those Lino flowers? I've never seen so many all blossoming at once. I'll be spending the next two years here. Wonder how long it'll be before I think of it as home. But yeah, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> Whoa, sorry about that. Are you okay? I should have picked a better place to take in the scenery. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I should have been paying more attention to where I was going instead of gawking at the flowers. It's really a pretty town though, isn't it? Just like a postcard. Yeah, I guess that's the magic of springtime for you. I hope everything in your case is okay. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll be fine. Rain and Alyssa meeting for the first time. Hey, you've got the red uniform too, huh? Yeah, but now that you mention it, almost everyone else on the train had a green jacket. You're one of the few I've seen in red. I didn't really think about it until now. I just put on the uniform they sent me. I hadn't given it much thought until I got here either. But yeah, like you said, there have been a few others. Thor's Military so Academy. I doubt it's a mistake. Maybe it means we'll end up being classmates. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. 
I've got a feeling we'll see each other again at the entrance ceremony, though. <laughs> so good to be back I in totally Chester after all this. Oh well, I'm sure we'll run into each other later. <laughs> She's right, though. It is weird that there are so few of us in red. Are there even enough to make a class? That orbman they sent with the uniform is pretty strange, too. It sure looks a lot fancier than your standard issue orbman, that's for sure. The Earth Military Academy. Eh, guess there's no point in racking my brain over it. Someone will probably explain it during orientation. Sorry, it's, it's very, like... To me, this is very like nostalgic. Okay, even though it's just four years ago, but still, military academies on the north it's side. been so long since I've still seen these characters in this way. For the entrance ceremony, but it'd be pretty awkward to be late the first day. All right, the way to Thor's. All right, let's give it a search. That's all I can see. Cool. Let's see what we got. What? I don't have any quartz. What is this nonsense? Well, at least I got all the DLC back again. I can use all of them again. Woo! That would have been Definitely gonna change the faceplate. Alright, so, in case you're wondering, I did not download no DLC. If you get the PS... Because, like I said, these games were initially... The first two... Cross, uh, the first two Cold Steel games were for uh, um, PSP. So if you buy the uh, first two games on PS4 or PS5 <laughs> on the PlayStation Store, you immediately get all the DLC that comes with it. That came with it. So... And these shining uh, palms are so, so necessary. Uh, they can actually help you uh, uh, with like <laughs> getting better, uh, higher levels and all that stuff. They're basically like uh, quick. Oh goodness, how do I explain this? They're basically like, um, they allow you again to fights with certain characters, uh, with these, uh, enemies that allow you to, uh, that give you, like, tons of experience points. Let me go ahead and just get these out the way. Now, you don't want to use them too soon. Otherwise, like, you mainly want to use them when you're, like, in the higher levels. And since my character's already... At like as you can see he's already at level 81 <laughs> which I believe is what I was at by the end of the first at the uh, original game and when I get the master quartz oh hey it looks like there's even a little park here it seems like the perfect spot to catch a breather <laughs> huh Ah, fee. Why is she sleeping? Is she a new student? She's got the uniform. The ceremony's going to be starting. Uh. 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 Um. Mm. Guess I better go. Okay. She's sure a strange one. Like a stray cat or something. If she's headed to the school, I'd say that's my cute. Alright. Hmm. 
Yeah, I can't use the shops anytime soon. at the guy just to be on the safe side, make sure I'm not like missing something. Like I said, I want to make sure I get all... Hmm. I want to make sure I get all the trophies in this playthrough, okay? So, uh... Technically, I'm filming that prologue. I think. I shall take my leave here, m'lady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. Yep, I'm still in the beginning. So I didn't really mess to miss in the, pro in the prologue. <laughs> All right, I'm cool. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood. Please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It's truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic. No, uh, not another reconnect. Thankfully, I'm recording this. So, anybody missing out on whatever I was oh. playing through, you know, they can check it out on the uh, <laughs> on the YouTube replay. <laughs> Guessing he's a butler? He certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military. Th Laura Arseed. Alright, uh, let's go. So this is it. Come on, reconnect. Thor's military academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykel's There we himself. go. Like I said, I'm sorry if it's constantly disconnecting. Chat. Like, I know. Don't have ring anybody in the chat room right now, but still. Chat, I apologize. Arrived at the academy. Much obliged. All right. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. Ah, again, this is connecting. Oh, 
What? Sir. This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Berea hard. As you wish. I shall pay you just being a dope person. Food. your weapon you've got wrapped up i'll need to hold on to that for the time being oh right it mentioned something about that in the guidebook thanks we should be able to return it to you before long you'll hardly even miss it the entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium just head straight back you can't miss it anyway i hope you enjoy your first day at thor's we're glad to have you i hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you I thought there was something wrong with the screen for a second, <laughs> but it's just like second years? them showing like them breathing. That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. What was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? No. Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony. Well. to say a few words in Principal Van Dyke Thor's military academy was founded almost 220 years ago its founder as I'm sure you're all aware was none other than the great Emperor Dracos the very same Emperor who ended the war of the lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire 30 years after becoming emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same to prepare our students to fulfill emperor dragos famous mandate arise O oh youth and become the foundation of the world though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries the world is still the domain of the young yet still the question remains what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? Words that, like, you know, we could actually use in this day and age. I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> Elliot. No kidding. Though, this is Dracos the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? <laughs> I guess we do. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. And he's got the vest. I like the vest, though. 
Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Is something wrong? Nah. Just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mind, either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. Let's check this I you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. Orienteering exercise? Orientation? <laughs> Did you mean an orientation exercise? <laughs> <laughs> Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Um. Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> Guys, Jesus. What do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. They're building this dilapidated on campus. It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. What does she even want us to do here? Uh, is she ever gonna tell us what's going on? Mike is being a douche. I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. Th this place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with a red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. Crow so, He's and Sherlock. Huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Says the master slacker. Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one oh, of them. Oh, Jellica. Oh, you know one of them? Er, uh, wait, no, no, no not, not these, these ones, ones too. too. Stop, Stop flirting with, with every, every damn girl you lay eyes on. <laughs> Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? <laughs> <laughs> okay, when people, uh, I just want to say one thing, okay? Before I continue going, okay? There's one thing I have to say before I continue going. When people constantly talk these days, constantly talking about how there's no representation in some of these games and games, and they're trying to push for representation in games, you get a character like Angelica. Okay. <laughs> Let's begin. A lesbian who is constantly flirting with all the girls, but she is, you know. Did, 
Did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting, you two. But she is so hilarious, but like also very intriguing. But this is just the beginning of it, and they didn't have to push for you to like let for anybody to know that she was lesbian. You just find out throughout the story. You meet her through through in the story and all that stuff, but <laughs> she has so much characterization. Well, finally made it. Nice work. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it? Yep, they're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're going to have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? This is how you make a story, okay? This is what got me so intrigued by Cold Steel, okay? Instructor Sarah, Sarah Valenstein. I'm the instructor in charge of class seven, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, class seven? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy, and that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Well, what do you... Oh, it is turbo mode, so... If I turn it up... See? <laughs> I love how they, like, added the fact that, you know, you can tell they're breathing. But in turbo mode, it looks like they're, like, really breathing, like, breathing heavily. We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. Fittingly titled... I mean, wouldn't it be class six? <laughs> but it's called class seven. Wait, you just jumped straight from five to seven? Y you're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, um, uh, um, uh, who are you again? Machias Regnus. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this. Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Oh, sir. <laughs> just, just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? <laughs> Those two have such <laughs> What's a your honor with each other. Oh, nothing, nothing much. much. I, I just find the irony, irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord. Do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusus Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He's from one of the four great houses. The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Koitsen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. 
I'd heard the rumors. <sighs> Did, do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. Oh, my kids. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. I'm sure a couple of you have a few grievances, but now's not the time. I'll hear your complaints later. Right now, you've got your orienteering exercise, and far be it for me to keep you from our fun... Orienteering? <sighs> you mentioned this orienteering exercise earlier? What exactly does that involve? It's a form of outdoor competition, isn't it? Something like a cross between a map reading exercise and a scavenger hunt? <sighs> Is that why they asked us to hand over our weapons at the gate? Nothing gets by you, does it? But I don't want to spoil the fun, so let's get started, shall we? What? <gasps> oh. Sure, it's just crazy. <sighs> Come on, Fee. No cheating. You're going with them, and that's that. What's the point in having an icebreaker if you don't make a couple of new friends? <sighs> Lame. From under us. I can't believe I fell for such an obvious trap. Does this mean there's a series of catacombs beneath the school grounds then? What does that woman think she's playing at? <sighs> I thought my heart was going to jump out of my chest. Hey, Reen, are you okay? <laughs> Hands where she can see them. <laughs> oh, what happened? Huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Still, I'm just glad you're okay. That's what's really important here, right? <laughs> If. Was we'll slap in the face when he was just trying to help. Wow, it's just not your day, is it? Well, now that I've hit the bottom, things can only improve. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. What is this place? I was wondering the same thing. We should check out those tables. <laughs> Is this? It's coming from the devices we received for the Academy Guidebook. It seems to be some sort of portable org mode. Right you are. These handy little devices are a special kind of battle orbit. Is that Miss Ballastine? So these devices have built-in communications functionality then? Wait, don't tell me these things are... Model battle ordnance made through partnership between the Epstein Foundation and Reinhardt Company. Newly made fifth generation battle ordnance, in fact. They're called Arcus units. Arcus. So these are battle ordnance. That means they'll allow us to use arts, right? Sure will. Just set a quartz into one of its slots, and you can use arts all the live long day. Which is why I've prepared enough quartz for each and every one of you. Weapons you brought are all here too. Each package neatly along a little box containing a quartz. Find yours and try setting the quartz into your arcus. Hmm. I so. Uh, what is this woman thinking? Mm. Let's see. Mine is. Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay?
What's this? That's called a mass report. If you set that into the large slot in the center of your Arcus, you'll be able to use our... Go on! All right, let's do this. So I have all these ports. Now, <laughs> I could just go ahead and put the force, which is his normal one, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Emblem, because Emblem has like the best dang thing after I like level it up a little bit. And let's see. I'm going to auto equip. Let's give me a decent one. All right. Now here's the thing. Uh, in the in Cold Steel three and four, five and six, <laughs> and it's Cold Steel three and four, you have master courts, and then you can also have like a sub master court, which is even better in all honesty. But you'll see what I mean later on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put force in here just for now. Uh, just because it's already at like, I think it's already at full level. Yeah. And this will help me like get some CP very quickly. What, what in the world? That light means that you successfully synchronized with your Arcus. Congratulations. Now you can use Arc as much as you want. These Arcus units have plenty more nifty features. But I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once. So we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what... When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, You'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around, though, so don't let your guard down, even for a moment. That is a weird way to start, like, school off, all right? With all that said, but they are in a military school, so... Special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Sarah's crazy instructor. Uh, um, I don't think she's joking. <laughs> and just where do you think? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists, after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with a sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What, what, what the hell? Nobody's asking your high excellency to deign to help us. Oh, those two contain That's how you have to be. I'll just find my way out of here before you. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class system dragging me down. Jesus. <laughs> What should we do? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? Oh, no, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... <laughs> I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen would be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. 
She's still upset. <laughs> Not such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. Gaius. I don't believe I introduced myself. Though. My name is Gaius Warzor. See, Gaius, Reen, and Elliot are like the cool natured one guys of the group. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad? I've been wondering. My name is Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd flashing attack. It looks kind of awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a pole axe. That was pretty handy when you're back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it a staff? Wait, no. It's an ornament, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbital staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it. So when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Hold on. Let me lower that. All right. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have either. I thought I'd get for like listening to like the. They're still in development apparently, so there aren't TV too many around just yet. TV and also being on air. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my. Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called a tachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. Wow, that's one beautiful blade. The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. <laughs> you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's keep it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it. All right, let's do this. Get them all squared away. He's got cannon. I might stick with cannon. Do need to like level some of these up, but for now we'll stick with cannon. <laughs> and we'll do the auto equip because I don't really want to go through the process of. Although, like, there's absolutely no reason why I should have two of the same thing. So we'll put. Um, do we got? I'm not using anything crazy. Okay, so I can't really put Seraphic Ring on it, which is like a really good hit point. Uh, really good, like... Oh, we already got one on there. Okay, cool. So, we'll give him Mind. And of course, Falco. He hasn't fully. Okay, that one wasn't like fully done. Ah, eh, we'll keep Falco on there so that we can like level it up. And yeah, that should do. All right. 
Do I have Recuria? Yep, I got Recuria. Alright, cool. Um, uh, look at status. There we go. Yep. And we should be good, but let's check the equipment. Yeah, let's give them the most... Cross spear. Get the dragon wings. Uh, we'll give him the aura jacket. Straight to all. I'll hold that one on. Give us up. Alright, let's go. Yikes! A monster! Huh. Never seen this kind before. Alright, we'll slow it, it looks down. Looks like a flying feline. <laughs> Careful, everyone. Why are you scared? Now's your chance. Let's go. Leave it to me. Right. Is everybody okay? Please tell me they're up. I hate to tell. You. Anyway, let. Combat history. Let's see. Still need to make. I can't make any of these. Still need to make some of these. Yeah, I'm looking at the recipes. Okay, look, the recipes. Like you see the ones that have those, uh, the question marks. You can actually, if you. Um, if you make those particular uh, things, you can actually give it to like a uh, particular NPC, certain particular NPCs uh, that you meet throughout the game. That will uh, give you like a special like item or give you points towards your uh, main Thor's uh, thing. So got finish Loras. Machias. Machias. Ah, oh, the only two I have to fix. Okay. That looks like I got all the fish. Yeah. I'm a beast. Alright, here we go. Turbo mode, dash, switch leader. Alright. So that's as much as I can do. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool. Try to see if there's a way for me to like do the auto thing for the 
place. Hey, you can cut these. Ooh, I'll say this. Sepith. A sepith. Uh. Okay, let's do a look. Plan to open up all the treasure chests. Really? Okay. Oh, a treasure chest. Oh. at the gut for just a second. <coughs> Sorry, near you. I'm just checking to make sure I don't miss a like treasure chest. Alright. Overkilled. Yeah, there's no point in me using the arts in this at this point. Take some water. I'm starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Yeah. And make sure we're not going in circles. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can actually go back to this area. So relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no, I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. And... Look out! Elliot! Huh? <sighs> no! Looks like I made it just in time. I need videos for my kids. Oh, it's you. You said your name was Machius, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. I let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly, and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps, and there you were. Is it just the three of you here? Yeah. We stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? I'm reasonably skilled with the gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure thing. The name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. It's... My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machius Regnitz. 
could could I ask you what social class you each belong to? Why does that matter? I realize how that must sound, uh, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. Um, well, both of my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. Ah, so you're from abroad then? What about you, Reed? Well... Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing. <laughs> he said it. He said it that way for a reason. Technically, we should probably get moving then. He was adopted by the about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. All right, let's go. Mikey is such a dick. No offense, but he is. Iron! Alright. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna auto. Like, at least until I get to. Once Fee gets into What's my party, like this even I'll do something words? with Fee. Because Fee is. If you really set her ornaments right, you. Nothing can touch her. She is literally a, a legitimate tank. Well, she's not a tank. She's more like a <laughs> untouchable tank. Uh, not an untouchable tank. She, you can make a build for her that is so like ungodly. It's not even funny. Uh, like, you won't be able to touch her. You can actually... Uh, I think it's in the first game, but... It might be in the second game that you can do that. Now, watch this. Now, I have it at CP... My, uh... CP is at 200. When you use an S-Craft, uh with uh, a character who has a 200 CP this happens you get so much uh, it's like the strongest it can be basically uh, <coughs> with other characters like uh, uh, like Emma if I remember correctly like in especially in the fourth game in the third and fourth games her, uh, my turn. It's my turn. Here we go. That's that. Let's keep using her S craft at 200 allows you to uh, guard against any attack, uh, put a barrier up we meet again? for your whole entire party. <sighs> Good to see you guys are hanging in there. That will guard I'm against the any attack well. twice instead of just the one time. So you get invincibility for like two times. It comes in handy in some boss battles. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsade from the town of the Graham. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. McGram? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Apple. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name sounds so familiar. Wait. So your father would be... Yes. My father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of Legram. Do you take issue with that? No, not at all. Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if I... Uh, say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. 
Like Laura, my girl from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. I think I was outdone. Why a girl with this? Don't be that way, Marcus. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. Marcus is cool people. But in the first few, in the first game, he's like unbearable. <laughs> Especially with him and Eustace like constantly like fighting. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really. I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbital staff too. Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Oh. Hmm. Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. She don't want to say her last name. It's a pleasure <coughs> to meet almost all of you. Uh, Elisa. Ruwer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Rhineford Company is based in Ruhr, and they're the largest heavy industry uh, corporation on the continent, right, sure. aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ugh. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. My guess you, you open your big fat you to be fucking mouth. That. Jesus Lord. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver hand couple. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companion. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then. All right. <coughs> more of you later, then. <sighs> She really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident. Everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves? Marcus, shut up. They got this. There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. Marcus, shut up. She's taller and Stop being a red pill. I am. <laughs> Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. And we still need to track down Duke Alvarea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. Get rocked on. <laughs> Come on, now. That's no way to treat someone you just met. Looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? 
I feel a little wind blowing from the east. Oh, the the exit's like that way. Thing is oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Okay, cool. Got it. And. Got it. I accidentally ran into it. It's my turn. Go. That's the power of the eight leaves. Am I sure this is a nightmare? I I did pick nightmare, right? I did pick nightmare, right? I definitely picked nightmare. And yet these things are like. It might be because it's the prologue and these things are stuck in a certain level, but. Jesus, Lord, there's no point in me even fighting these now. What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Clausel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. Jeez. Well, what just happened? Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Just over halfway through? Has she already been to the exit and then come back? Yep. That's me for you. Oh, yeah, I forgot to, like... Give him... He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Hold on, let me do this. All right, so I, I, I got. I want to show you guys this. So this is what I mean by the. Uh... Oh goodness, where is it? Where is it? <sighs> do I have to wait until I'm in battle? Than that. Do we have to wait until I'm in battle? Oh wait, there we go. All right, we're gonna do this. Unscathed. I won't kill you. You're all so freaked out by me. This is too strong for you. Do you hear that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Rain! Wait for me! Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. <sighs> Did you need something? <sighs> Sorry. I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzel. Nice to meet you. 
I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So you're the one who's spouting it, my kiss. You're not just a garden variety noble either. You think House you already Alvarez know what Yusuf is, but you haven't country. let him, like, really, you haven't really gotten to know him yet. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, oh, don't you? Oh, lord. You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Carl Regnitz. The first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. And as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the noble faction, led by none other than the four great houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather cheap, wouldn't you say? Oh. You son of a... You son of a... I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And you, sis, don't you think that was a little... I wasn't the one who started it. Let... Me. Damn it, just let me go already! I'm sorry, okay? Just. You guys should just go on ahead with it. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Eusis. Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but tracking his father into it is pretty low. You're Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Uh huh? You look shocked. Well, you're the son of Duke Alborea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was wrong. Ah, uh, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so the idea goes, anyway. Y yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all the way there. <laughs> is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? It is. This country has a long history, and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. So what are you going to do, Yusis? Maki is said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself, but I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. W what? I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to. Let's just go with that. We should get moving then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get Eusis all sprayed away. We got him with Mist Mistral. Oh god, I had a hard time saying that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I can't change this. Oh, because he's more like a guest that I could actually add. Okay, I get it. Okay. He's kind of imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. Oh, it's got something going on. What is that smell? Oh. I'm gonna kill this dog. I'm not gonna kill him, but still, I'm so upset. Look, people, 
If you have roommates, I want you to remember this one. If you have a dog, train your dogs to like go outside. Like that's the one issue I keep having with my roommate. She she keeps them in, up in her room all day long. And then when she decides to leave the house, they piss and shit. Now, technically, you know, I know some people will say, oh, why don't you take them out? Well, nine times out of ten, I don't know whether or not they need to be taken out or not. So therefore, it's like, oh, good lord, every once in a while, all of a sudden they'll start peeing. And I'm just like, dude, what can I do to get you to stop? Leave it to me. And dude, I do take him out every once in a while, but it's not my responsibility when it's not my, you know, they aren't my heads. Well, technically one is supposed to be, but like, my roommate pretty much took over that the second she, uh, the second we got him. Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Point considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge. But did we even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been in What was all that business about class set? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? What was that? There! The statue? What the heck is that? A gargoyle come to life? Oh, I forgot about this. Monsters like this common in the Empire? Not outside of old wives' tales, they aren't. This thing's cutting off her only route to the surface. No choice. Right. Finally, an opponent will. Hideos? Watch out! This is a time. Here we go! <laughs> Alrighty, kill them halfway. I'll handle this. Know your place. Here we go. Leave it to me. I'll handle this. My turn. Got him. Back, back. Let's keep moving. Well, that should be the end of it. No, it's down, but not out. Oh. That's one hell of a second win. I can appreciate a certain degree of tenacity, but this thing needs to just die. It's no use. I'm too choice stand back you made it you've certainly got some good timing oh, seems like you're all okay at least i'm sorry we took so long you're here and that's what counts so a gargoyle is it i didn't expect to find the dark ages alive and well down here it doesn't seem like it'll go down easily indeed it's brushing us off as though we barely even scratched it this many of us, we can just find an opening. Fine, I guess I'll help out. <laughs> Looks like you started the party without me. You releasing limiter. Take this, break shot. Ah! 
An opening. Go. This one's mine. I think that's the end of it. At the very least, that creature doesn't seem like he'll be coming back for a rematch anytime soon. What happened there anyway? Right at the end of the battle... Now that you mention it, I did feel something wash over me for just a second there. It was like each of us were engulfed in some faint blue light. What? I did notice something as we fought. Perhaps it was just the blur of combat. But I felt like I could see everyone's movements in precise detail. I don't think it was just your imagination. Agreed. I have a feeling what we just experienced was... The biggest selling point of the almighty Arcus? Give this man a prize. <laughs> Looks like friendship and teamwork saved the day once again. <laughs> the power of friendship. Legitimately. What's the actual reason behind it, the Arcus units? You'll find out. Mm. Anyway, <sighs> that about finishes up today's special orienteering exercise. Aw, what's with the long faces? I thought you'd all be happy. What, what are we supposed to be happy about? Exactly, Sarah. I have so many questions, I'm not even sure where to start. Oh? I'll take a stab at it. What exactly is the purpose behind this Class 7? I mean, we get that it's supposed to be some sort of melting pot that includes a broad cross-section of people. But why were the nine of us chosen in particular? Excuse me. Hmm. That is a valid question. There's no single monolithic reason why you all made the list. But if I had to name a major contributing factor, it'd be those Arcus ornaments you've got there. How so? Well, like I explained earlier, the Arcus units are developed jointly by the Epstein Foundation and the Reinford Company. Like any battle ordnance, they let you use arts, and these have communication functionality built right in. Okay. Okay, and? Yeah. But their crowning feature is what's known as combat linking. That's the phenomenon you all experienced just now. So that's what that was. It seems like a pretty apt term. It did feel like we were all connected somehow. Precisely. Doesn't take a genius to imagine how much of an advantage a feature like that would be on a real battlefield. An elite unit that can sense each other's movements, acting in perfect sync, even in the most chaotic conditions. You can hardly put a price on that! It could bring about a revolution in the way wars are fought. Hmm. It does sound rather... Idealistic. Well, yeah, the technology has its limits. Some have a natural aptitude for it, others just... don't. And out of this year's fresh batch of bright-eyed students, the nine of you turned out to have the highest aptitude. And since aptitude trumps background in class seven, well, here you are. I see. But what gives us this aptitude, though, as compared to our peers? It just seems so random. What indeed? As promised, if any of you have objections to being in this class, speak now or forever hold your peace. I think that pretty much covers the hows and whys of your situation. But this program isn't cheap to run, so we're not about to force anyone into it if they don't want to be here. You should also be aware that Class 7's curriculum will be tougher than any other class's coursework. Just a fair warning. So now you know. And that leaves you all with an important decision to make. Will you stick with Class 7 or not? If you opt out, you'll just be placed in the class you would have been assigned to otherwise. There's no pressure. 
Nobles will land in class one or two, commoners in three, four, or five. It's still just the first day, so there's no real catching up you'd have to do. I'm sure. I'll do it. Whatever class seven has to throw at me, I'm game. Whoa, wait, what? Just like that? So you're the first then. You seem pretty sure about it. Any particular reason? Not really. I just feel like I've put my family out asking them to send me to this school. So, if it gives me more to show for my time here, I'll take whatever opportunities come my way. Mmm, a noble sentiment. Count me in as well. The greater the challenge, the more I can push myself to excel. One can't hone a blade without grit, after all. Let's make it three. Considering how far I came to attend this school, it'd be silly to back down before I even started. Well, looks like we've got the country's strongest freshman on board, and our foreign exchange student, too. Any more takers? Strongest freshman. Allow me to take part as well. I was only able to come because of the school's generosity, so I feel it's my duty to help in any way I can. S sign me up, too! I kind of feel like fate brought us here for a reason, you know? all seem pretty easy to get along with. And that's a yes from our two Orville staff testers. Though I feel compelled to remind you, your weapons are still in the prototype stage. So on top of your other work, I'll be expecting reports from both of you. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Let me join too. Huh? Oh, there's a surprise. I was almost certain your rebellious streak would see you opt out just on general principle. It does bother me that you've got us using these Arcus units that are still pretty clearly in development. But if I let every little nitpick like that hold me back, I'd never amount to much. <laughs> Words to live by right there. And that brings us to an even six. Now, what about you? Don't really care either way. You can choose. Not this time. This is one call you're going to have to make for yourself. That was the deal, remember? You need to take control of your own life. Fine, I'm in. Well, at least you committed. We've got <laughs> a magnificent seven now. Which leaves just the two of you. <laughs> I can see you got issues with each other, but that doesn't mean you can't at least try to work together. Why, if you just look past your differences and embrace the joys of youth, I'm sure you'll become the best of friends. Spoiler alert, they do. <laughs> Like hell we will. The exploitation of the Spoiler alert, they do. Aristocracy is a blight on All the stuff that goes on life. throughout uh, this game and the second game, yeah, they become like really close. Unless something is done about it, this country has no future. I appreciate your candor, but I don't think you're going to achieve much by lecturing me about it. Well, at least that makes this simple. I, Yusus Alborea, claim my place as a member of Class 7. Huh? Why? You're the son of a duke. Just the thought of being in the same class as commoners should make you sick. You're putting words in his mouth, my kids. I'll thank you not to tell me how I'm supposed to feel. As far as the House of Alborea is concerned, there's little difference between other nobles and commoners. Besides, this should at least ensure I won't have fools flitting about every day trying to win my favor. <laughs> that said, I have little interest in getting drawn into your petty arguments on a daily basis either. I think it would be prudent for us to go our separate ways. I'm certain we can at least agree on this, no? I don't need some pompous ass who coached through life on his father's coattails telling me what to do. I'm in. Come hell or high water. You might have had your successes spoon-fed to you up to now, but no outmoded class system is going to hand you trophies anymore. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> They're going to be like this pretty much all year, aren't they? Sure seems that way. I wouldn't bet on them ever seeing eye to eye. Oh. Just for a second. <laughs> The pots shouldn't be too hard on the kettles. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? Nine out of nine. With that, I'd like to congratulate all of you on being the first ever class seven. I hope you keep those high spirits all year. 
Because with the workload we've got planned for you, you'll need it. All right. Well, well, I wasn't expecting class seven to turn out quite as diverse as this. All of it. It certainly promises to be an interesting year. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. But perhaps this too is the divine providence of the goddess, no? How do you mean? By seeing them there, I feel they have the potential to be the light we seek. A light that can break through the storm clouds that continue to build over our nation day by day. Alright, <clears throat> so that was the prologue. So we're gonna save. You save data. Okay. And that's it for the stream for today. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm not gonna end it just yet. But we're gonna do chapter one next. And, uh, this is how it's gonna. <laughs> be uh it may take me a minute to do chapter one uh well play through it you know what i mean uh so there's a lot to do if i remember correctly uh chapter one you got the school day Get the school time, you got the free day where I can do the bonding events and all that stuff. Um, uh, let's see, uh, side quests and all that stuff. Um, that's the thing about <laughs> that's the thing about uh, this game. Hold on, let me look. Switch to the. But yeah, that's the thing with this game. You you do the chapters. You have like uh, different side quests to do during each chapter, um, and different things you can do. Uh, you also get free days and all that stuff. Um, now this is when I'm gonna probably be like a little bit more heavy on the. Uh, when I get to the chapters, I'm gonna be a little bit more heavy on the. 
what do you call those things? Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah. So this is where I'm going to be a little bit more guide-heavy because I'm trying to make sure I get everything. Everything. Um, but let's, uh, let's go over trophy list before I end this stream, okay? Uh. <laughs> Alright, so, let's track trophies. Uh, we're gonna set by progress. All right, view all trophies, and we're gonna do this. Not earned. There we go. So I've already gotten. Let's look at. It. I already got put to the test. As you can see, I've already completed the first uh, all the the game already. You probably know that. Um, I forged a strong bond with Alyssa. So, yeah, I made sure that they were the relationship in the first game. <laughs> first playthrough. I earned the S rank on any chapter. Raised any two characters to link level 5. So, I have done that. Um, defeated eight enemies at once. One tactical bonus. Used 100 S breaks in battle, 101 battles, raised master quartz to level 5, as you saw. Caught all varieties of fish, obtained all recipes, completed all quests, both extracurricular and enduring field studies, received the Lionheart Medal of Heroism from Principal Fandig, and achieved rank, uh, student rank A0. Oh, A okay. So let's look at the rare trophies. These are me forming strong bonds, so basically relationship type things. I might, I'll have a save file to like kind of do each of these. But these aren't that important. Just trying to make sure I get. All right, so I need to use burst in battle 50 times. I need to use rush in battle 100 times. Uh, used over 500 follow-up attacks in battle. Uh, canceled enemy arts and crafts 100 times, so I gotta do that a couple of times. Initiated 300 advanti uh, advantage encounters, so pretty much I gotta strike them and then hit them. Uh, uh, one thousand battles, so I can get to that. One five hundred battles. Get to that. Play. Over a hundred hours, so we might get through this in this stream because uh, 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 acquired over a million mirror international bank of ring, complete the game while hard nightmare. So we're on nightmare difficulty, so we should be able to complete these two with this uh, by the time we end this uh, playthrough. Uh, Gathered all 28 varieties of Master Quartz, so I gotta look for that. Uh, open every treasure chest in a single playthrough. Completely fill book section. This is called Still One, right? Yep. Completely fill the monster guide. Completed all the character profiles in the notebook. Yeah. Alright. For, you know, my gaming channel, I might do a little bit of a clip for my main channel and all that stuff. But other than that, that's what I'm going to do whenever I stream. We're going to be playing through Trails of Cold Steel. I'm going to try to do uh, a chapter. If I can, do a chapter per stream. So, the stream will take however long it takes for me to, finish, to complete the chapter. Okay? Uh, that's what we're going to pull off from now on. And if anybody ends up joining, cool. If you don't, cool. We'll talk. You know, I feel free to talk about anything. That's how I'm going to work my streams from now on. And then, like, uh, soon I'm just going to do the whole multi-stream. So I'll stream on YouTube and on Twitch. 
and maybe TikTok, I don't know, but till then, uh, you guys have a great day, great weekend, great uh, week coming up, a great rest of the month, and a great year, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Peace. And...